Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and today we're going to be taking a good long hard look at the Xiaomi 11T, a beefy mid-range mobile packing some pretty impressive specs. And this beast is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 Ultra, a 6 nanometer chipset that can cope with anything you toss at it while also offering essential phone features like 5G connectivity and support for super smooth 120Hz OLED displays. Now the Xiaomi 11T normally retails here in Blighty for 549 quid, although if you're lucky you can find it under 500 pounds in various sales. So let's whip the 11T on out of the box, take you on a full on tour of the hardware and the software and a big thanks to MediaTek for sponsoring this video. Cheers guys! Alright, so what do you get inside of the box besides of course the mighty Xiaomi 11T which is wedged in there suitably tight. Well you got yourself a beefy 67 watt power adapter though considering the capabilities of this thing it's not particularly bulky or heavy. You do of course have a USB cable as well. And yes, Xiaomi has very kindly bundled a condom case as well so you can keep your shiny new blower safe from harm. And that's your whack inside the box. Let's check out the Xiaomi 11T. So the Xiaomi 11T could certainly never be described as compact. It's got a near 6.7 inch screen and it is quite the hand filler. It also weighs just a smidge over 200 grams, which to be fair is pretty standard for any smartphones in 2021. Around back, it does feel kind of plasticky. You do have this glossy finish as well, which is already picking up uh, fingerprints and grease. Yum, yum. I do quite like the brushed metal design work, though again, I would have preferred it in matte rather than gloss. And this is the Meteorite Grey model. Uh, but you can also pick it up in a couple of other options, Celestial Blue and Moonlight White, keeping that uh, good old space theme running strong. And the good news is on the durability front, not only do you have that bundled condom case, but also the front end of the Xiaomi 11T is constructed from Gorilla Glass Victus, which is less likely to crack or chip if you go and drop your shiny new blower, although it is also more prone to scratching. Although thankfully Xiaomi has very kindly also added a pre-installed screen protector to the Xiaomi 11T just to help prevent damage. Now, as mentioned in that rather spiffing intro, the Xiaomi 11T is powered by MediaTek's Meaty Dimensity 1200 Ultra SoC. And as ably demonstrated by the good old Geekbench scores, this is a capable chipset. Throw pretty much anything you want at this thing and it'll handle it, no worries. And of course, there's no better way than demonstrating the performance chops here on the Xiaomi 11T than by basically pissing away an entire hour or two on Genshin Impact, boosting up those detail settings to the higher levels and really putting this thing through its paces. And certainly my mediocre gaming skills aside, I had absolutely no worries smashing my way through hordes of trolls and slimes and other gribbly things. Bashing noggins left, right and centre with no drop in that frame rate as well, so it a nice consistently smooth experience. And the good news is you've got vapor chamber coolant tech here on the Xiaomi 11T as well, which means that the handset doesn't start to get toasty even when you've been gaming for all over an hour. And compared with many rivals, that Dimensity 1200 Ultra chipset is energy efficient, which again helps to prevent heat buildup when this handset is under pressure. And the energy efficiency of the Dimensity chipset, combined with the fact you've got a 5000 milliamp capacity battery crammed inside of the mighty Xiaomi 11T's chassis, means that you'll be able to keep on going all day long and it will not be dead by the time you're tucked up with Teddy. Unless obviously you're spending several hours a day playing Genshin Impact, and if you are doing that, then maybe just don't. I mean, it's a great game, but I doubt that anyone is going to be spread on their deathbed wishing that they completed just a few more of those commission quests. But if you are thoroughly addicted to stomping slimes and you do find yourself running out of juice here on the Xiaomi 11T, no worries, because of course you've got that 67 watt fast charge support, so you'll have it filled back up again in a jiffy. Now, as for your storage here on the Xiaomi 11T, you've got a choice of 128 or 256 gigs of nippy UFS 3.1 internal storage. No micro SD memory card support though, so if you are going to be snapping away with the camera shooting a lot of home movies, then you might want to consider that bigger option. And connectivity, no worries there either. The Xiaomi 11T has a dual SIM setup. Both of those SIM slots supported 5G courtesy of the Dimensity 1200 Ultra. You've also got Wi-Fi 6 support as well for a proper bit of future proofing. As for your security, well thankfully it's not an in-display fingerprint sensor here on the Xiaomi 11T, it's actually an edge-mounted sensor built into that dinky little power button and so far seems very responsive, absolutely no issues with it not recognising who I am or anything. Now the Xiaomi 11T may not sadly sport the latest, freshest Android 12 OS, it's still stuck on Android 11, but you do have the most recent 12.5 version of Xiaomi's MIUI launcher. 
Now, if you're not familiar with Xiaomi smartphones, the good news is that MIUI 12 serves up a fairly stock Android experience. You've got your apps tree on there, you've got your uh, Google Discover feed, you've got the Google Assistant, full Google services and everything. But then you've got some MIUI bonus features like the uh, good old control center here, completely lifted off of iOS. And overall it is quite charming, but then there are some less charming bits like the sheer amount of crap where you get stacked on your smartphone. So if you're like me, you'll basically spend a good 20, 30 minutes just uninstalling app after app after app. And while Xiaomi is undoubtedly doing better with its pledges to support its smartphones for longer, you know, keep them updated for more than just a year or so beyond launch, I wouldn't exactly hold your breath waiting for Android 12 to hit the Xiaomi 11T. We'll probably be well into 2022 before it, the rollout properly commences. But moving on to the media chops, and there's far less to grumble about there, thanks to that 6.67 inch AMOLED screen, which is not just spacious, it's absolutely stunning. Got a full HD plus resolution, 2400 by 1080. So even though it is a big size, the images stay reasonably sharp. You got full HDR10 plus support here as well. Again, courtesy of that Dimensity chipset. So if you do decide to give the Genshin a bit of a rest, you can uh, kick back with some gorgeous looking cinematic affairs on Netflix, Disney Plus, whatever your preferred streaming service is. And as usual, plenty of customization here in the Xiaomi 11T's display settings as well. The likes of the reason mode make things nice and comfy on your peepers when you're checking it out in low light. Play around with the color output as well. So you've got the likes of the sRGB settings if you want more realistic natural looking output. I quite like it on the vivid mode, frankly. And the Xiaomi 11T also supports refresh rates up to 120 hertz although it is stuck at 60 hertz by default so you will have to bump it up manually and there's no dynamic option as well so it won't scale back down to 60 hertz when you're in an app that doesn't support 120 hertz refresh uh, just to preserve the battery life and it's not just attractive visuals that the Xiaomi 11T will pump at your face it's also got a stereo speaker set up so the audio chops are pretty strong too it's kind of crazy really how can something so small bring you so much joy and no, I'm not talking about anything trouserial. I'm banging on about the fresh new Roku streaming stick. Annoyingly and sadly, there is no headphone jack action here on the Xiaomi 11T if you do want to have a more private audio experience. But you do have full Bluetooth 5.2 support, thankfully. And you've got full Dolby Atmos shenanigans on here too. And this can just dynamically tweak the audio output to suit whatever you're up to. And last up for the Xiaomi 11T unboxing, that Dimensity 1200 Ultra chipset powers a mighty 108 megapixel primary camera slapped there on the back end. This doesn't shoot 108 megapixel photos by default because that would be slight overkill for your everyday snaps. Instead, it uses pixel binning just to help brighten up your snaps, keep them look nice and attractive. But if you do dive into the Xiaomi 11T's more section, we do have a 108 megapixel option in there if you do want the full resolution. And that could actually be quite handy if you want to crop into a shot to get a more close up view because, of course, you don't have a telephoto lens here on the Xiaomi 11T. But as usual, with Xiaomi's camera app, you get a bugger load of other bonus features as well. Far too too many to even begin to go into in this unboxing video. Got the likes of the portrait mode as well if you like a nice bokeh style background effect. And a full on pro camera mode as well if you want to manually mess around with the likes of the shutter speed, the white balance, the ISO levels also offers the option to shoot at that 108 megapixel maximum resolution. The second lens on the back end of the Xiaomi 11T is an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle shooter. You can swap to that at any point with a quick tap back in the auto section. And the third and final lens is a 5 megapixel tele macro effort if you want to get a really up close and personal with your subject. For your whole movies, uh, by default, the Xiaomi 11T will shoot full HD footage at 30 frames per second, but you can bump that up to 60 FPS if you like, or all the way up to Ultra HD resolution, although that tops off at 30 frames per second. And then last up around front, you have a 16 megapixel selfie snapper, which should be absolutely fine for just your, your everyday selfie shots if you are on the Instas or the Facebooks. Personally, I am not, and it's for reasons like this. So that right there in a nutshell is the Xiaomi 11T. As you can see, they're quite a beefy mid-range mobile, packing some serious specs, some proper media chops, and a decent everyday camera experience. Once again, a big thanks to MediaTek for sponsoring this video, and it'd be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech, and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.